Okay, so let's see the practical app you are going to develop at the end of these lessons. So this is the source code you will be developing. And once you run it, you will see um, a web application. And this is a survey system you are going to develop, a real world survey system. And this is a complete project where the admin can log in, uh, can register uh, if they want, or they can um, uh, log in using their previous credentials. Uh, likewise and sign in and then admin will be taken to the admin dashboard which has uh, lots of options such as uh, to define the questions these are all coming from the database dynamically uh, and you uh, you will learn how to add edit delete the data and populate the data dynamically likewise and define the questions so the data will uh, appear dynamically and then uh, you learn how to create settings pages and save the uh, data to the database once again and see who are the respondents who has taken this survey and uh, with the log information you learn how to create uh, sophisticated search dashboards and you will learn about how to uh, filter data and search where admin can find information about different users who has taken the survey so and then if I log out and then a normal user uh, if a normal user comes to the home page a normal user can start taking the survey a user can uh, register if needed or if not a user can take it uh, anonymously user will be able to take this anonymously let's say if this is test uh, test to user so test to add so and if user says no I don't want to register and if user says next then the survey will start anonymously and all the data is coming from the uh, database uh, so you learn about connecting to a remote database uh, which is not in this computer it's on a remote server so you will learn how to do that and then you will learn how to take the survey questions and there will be multiple survey questions so I will uh, just uh, fast forward this so I fast forwarded the questions I just click next and answered them and final question is what is the state so if the user says okay this is the state and click next and these are the questions I answered so uh, and then the user uh, or the respondent can review them and submit the answers so then the data will go into the remote database so you will learn about how to save it and click next and then it takes the user or the respondent back to the home page so this is the app you will be developing at the end of these lessons and the speciality of this app is it's a data driven app and it's completely dynamic and all the data is coming from the database and there is admin dashboard a sophisticated admin dashboard and a separate user uh, sessions you will learn the complete source code from the scratch to develop this so let's go and develop this application now let's start doing it now Hi everyone, welcome to ASP.NET Complete Project Service System Part 7 Home Page Continuation. So this is the continuation of a complete project. Uh, so make sure to look at the previous parts before you come here. So we'll be using these tools for this lecture and the prerequisites make sure to cover this before you do this lecture. So in this session we will continue to learn from the previous part. We will continue to learn further about the master page and the home page because we have to complete the home page as usual it's going to be a practical demonstration so because uh, it, it's a continuation of the previous project we'll be using the same uh, previous project now let's do the practical now so this is the outcome of the previous part where we have our home page which says hello and we have a, a footer content um, and this is coming from the master page so now let's improve our home page instead of uh, the hello message let's put more um, uh, relevant content and improve the home page let's go to the project now so this is the home page home.aspx from the previous part we got the hello message now instead of the hello message in the main content let's put some uh, relevant content so let's say welcome to the service system home page now let's go to the design from the bottom the, the footer comes 
Now, in this, we have said only welcome to the survey system homepage, but when you look at it, it has the contact details, copyright that is coming from the master page. That is the beauty of this when you have a master page. So, welcome to the home page. Let's put some decorations, let's make it bold, and let's put some heading size, let's say heading size 2 or 3, right? And let's put a, a color into this, right? So, some basic decorations. So that's a welcome message to the home page. Now let's add uh, more details to this home page. So into the home page, uh, so both normal users and admin users will land or come into this home page. So I want to put a button uh, for admin users, if it's admin user to click. So uh, that is going to be a normal hyperlink. Uh, I will tell you why it is, but uh, so I'm not going to put a ASP button here. I will tell you why in a little while. I'm going to put a normal HTML button because then I can just make it a hyperlink and just go to the admin page. So I'm going to put a, a HTML button here, right? I double click, make sure it's a HTML button. Then from the property palette, let's say I will give the value of the button to display as, uh, let's say, uh, this type this, click as a value type, click this button if you are a admin staff, just type it in the value. So then if it's admin user, mm, I want the admin user to click this button, right? If it's a normal user, I will put another button. I'm going to give a color into the button. So I click, I'm clicking on the button and then I'm clicking on the foreground color. I'm going to put it as a white color. And then I'm going to give a background color. Let's say I'm going to make it a blue color button, right? So so that is just a bit of decorations. And then now I want to align this button, let's say towards right hand side. So let's align it now. So what I would like to do is, I would like to go from the design, I would like to click the source code. I will, I will click the button and click the source code. And I would like to have this button inside a paragraph so that I can align the paragraph towards the right hand side. So I'm, I'm going to put a paragraph uh, and then I'm going to put this button into the paragraph. And then I'm going to click on the paragraph. Then I'm going to go to the design. And then I'm going to uh, click and say, let's say, uh, justify right. So inside the paragraph, the button will come towards the right hand side. Right. So now let's run this and see the uh, output. So let's run and now you can see in the output the button is coming. So if it's admin, the admin will click, click this button and we will take that to the admin home page. But let's add more into this now. So now let's go below this and uh, in the design page, let's click, let's look at the source to see where the cursor is, that's all good. Come to the design and let's type some information here, like, so let's type something. So you just type this, so user can uh, read it and, you know, understand what to do. So let's, now below this, let's put another button for normal users to take the survey. So to take the survey, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on the previous button and uh, copy it uh, using the keyboard control C and then come down over here and control V and paste it so I can get a similar button and just change the text of this. So from the property palette just change the value of this and let's say start survey. So just type that value from the property palette. So now the user knows that the user can click this and start the survey. But the thing is, these are normal buttons, so nothing will happen. These are just HTML buttons. So I have to make them hyperlinks and take them into, when the user click on this button, I have to take the user to the admin page. When the user click on this button, I will have to take the user to the survey page. So let's make them hyperlinks now. So you can make it hyperlinks from uh, different uh, ways. I'm just going to the source. And around the button, I'm just going to put an anchor tag. So this is my first button. So I'm going to surround it with A, anchor tag, right? And I'm going to say href. And then here I can 
put the admin page but still I don't have the admin page so I will just put this cut this and just keep it here uh, later I will put uh, the page when I create the admin page so I will do the same thing into the second button as well so uh, let's say anchor tag and then let's put this button the second button into that so anchor tag means a hyperlink so that means when the user click this I can take it take the user to another another page so I just I'm fine with having them as uh, anchor tags and normal buttons once the pages get once the pages are created I will put the admin page uh, link here the SP page here in line number 19 and I will put the normal start survey link in line number 20 27 so let's see what's uh, what's next now uh, let's click the design and come back to the design and uh, just after the button let's put another image right so now let's go into the images and copy another image so right click on the images and say uh, open folder in explorer and then put let's put the second image into this and then let's click on the images right click add uh, existing item and let's go into images and add it now we got it now let's in the home page let's go to the toolbox and put an image and then let's pick the URL image URL from the property palette from the right hand side images and select it and then once again give the width let's say 200 or uh, of whatever the size you like simple as that okay so now let's see uh, what's next let's do one final thing so let's go to the site master this is uh, you were here in the home page but let's go into the site master and uh, in the site master in between the main content and the footer content let's put a line break so that there's a space now if I go to the home page and if I run this you will see a, a decent home page which has the two options so this is the home page of the web application and the admin user can click this it's not yet connected and the normal user can click the start survey and start the survey so this is the home page so let's see what's next let's do one final thing in the uh, master page site one master just select the contact us line and then click on the background and then just give a light background color so now let's run this with the home page and everything combined so this is a very simple but very uh, attractive home page where you can so I provided it, it to the bottom it has applied to the top as well that is because it's probably using the same style sheet so you didn't create a style sheet but it's it's applying style content right so it's applying style content so I will show it to you now so if I stop this uh, and if I just take you to the site master and if I take you to the source you can see it has applied some styles automatically so we will talk about that uh, further right okay so we did the practical demonstration and the conclusion is you learn about the master page and creating the home page we'll be using these references for this lecture so make sure to look at the next part to complete this complete app so it's a complete service system so make sure to look at it to see how real world developers will create a complete app we are very excited to see you in the next part see you all in the next part